I loved them so much that there was never a really a choice for me to not to get involved with them. It was always kind of what I was going to do at some point in my life. So here we are. Just happens to be a copy here, one of my favorite comic books of all time, uh, Frank Miller's Ronin. Now this thing here is probably the comic book that's the most responsible um, uh, for me standing here in front of you guys, because uh, I was crazy about this thing. Uh, this came out when I was 13 years old. Um, I sort of saw it on a whim. It was like maybe the first or second time I'd ever gone into a comic book store. It blew my mind. I couldn't figure out what the story was about. I couldn't figure out where it was going. I couldn't decipher the techniques that were being used to create the story. But every new question that it created for me, which was on every page pretty much, um, just compelled me. And like, it sort of like, it made me realize that comics could be more than just like, you know, the kind of Marvel and DC superhero comics that I was reading in the early, early 80s and the mid 70s. It showed me that these things could be kind of whatever you could conceive of them being. What else do we have here? Cages. Dave McCain for me is one of uh, comic books' true geniuses. There's just something about the guy. Um, the quality of his images, the sort of dreamlike quality, and his command, his sheer command of craft. Like you give this guy any assignment and he can knock this thing out of the park. I read this thing and it was another book almost like Ronin where it was sort of confounding in a way because not a whole lot was going on with it. It was all sort of um, moments in a person's life. Very still, very slow, very deliberate, very slice of life. And yet you knew that there was something else going on beneath the surface. You know that there was, you couldn't, I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I couldn't tell if it was something supernatural. I didn't know if it was something, I didn't know what was going on. But uh, yeah, incredible book. Um, Seminal, I tried to, I tried to copy it many times, failed miserably every time, but what are you gonna do? What do we have? We have Saga. Brian K. Vaughn, Fiona Staples. It's kind of a huge science fiction, cross-generational, epic saga. I think it's supposed to be about two parents on the run. I'm still not entirely certain what I'm reading, to be totally honest with you, but I'm loving it. I kind of get the impression when I read this book that um, Brian K. Vaughn, and also like one of his other books, Paper Girls, I'm convinced Brian K. Vaughn is just making these stories up as he goes along from issue to issue. but. For whatever reason, he's hit the right formula, and these books are, they're so addictive and incredible. These are very beautiful books. I didn't expect them to be quite so pretty. Nice. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I, I, I read about them, and it was, ex it was shocking and exciting for me to see Margaret Atwood kind of taking a, you know, dipping her toes into this world. And, it was kind of a beautiful thing. It was almost like hearing about Aver DuVernay and Spike Lee directing superhero movies. It was like, what the hell? I didn't see that one coming. It was drawn by black men. Drawn by black men. There's so few of us out there doing this kind of work. It's like, you gotta represent. Um, good stuff. Oh, wow. Love Charles Burns. Like, you'll notice a theme. In my things that I've said where I've really tried to, where I've spent time ripping off the artists that I loved, and Charles Burns is yet another one. I must have spent a year trying to imitate this beautiful brush line that he's got, which is so beautiful and precise, it looks like it was drawn by a robot, and yet, you know, I know that it wasn't. I've, I've, I've seen Charles Burns with my own eyes. I know he's a real guy, but as, uh, yeah, this is an incredible book. Disturbing, beautiful, you know, obtuse. I love this book. About a teen plague spread through sex, if I remember it correctly. Uh, what else do we have? 